What's going on guys? Welcome back to Living Outdoors. Today is a very special day. I've been meaning to make this series of videos for the past two years, which is Fishing Louisiana Lakes. Today, we fish in the Lake Verret. That's not too far from my house, but that's why we're gonna start our, I don't know how many videos uh, adventure, but uh, that's where it starts, Lake Verret. Lake Verret's a place that been known for good bass fishing, good fish in general for years and then lately with a lot of hurricanes and all that stuff this place got messed up a little bit but hopefully mother nature is gonna do its work and make it come back to life so that's a place that i start bass fishing here in Louisiana when I first got here is a place that I start frogging doing all kind of stuff outdoors so why not start our series of videos here close to Homa, Thibodeau area and uh, that's uh, where we at. I'm fish with Cody today. Again, Cody is always over here in the adventures with us. So today we're gonna be looking for perch. We're gonna be doing perch jerking. I know it's bluegill, it's brand, but in Louisiana, if you catch any fish the size of your hand, we call it perch. So y'all don't be hating on me on the comments down below. And uh, we're gonna be trying to do some bass fish. That might be a two part video, that might be a one part video, who knows? But we're gonna look for catfish, we're gonna look for Bram, we're gonna look for bass, whatever we can find, and uh, that's it. Welcome to Lake Verret, welcome to Louisiana, welcome to the Sportsman's Paradise. That's the first video in the series of fish in Louisiana lakes. And let's get the boat in the water, let's go catch some fish. Please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's go fishing. Alright folks, the spots we fished this morning when we first got here didn't do too good so we pretty much crossed the lake and came to an area that has a canal system they got a lot of canals in here Everything, the water is super black, super pretty which looks like a pretty good spot for bass fishing but like I said, in this video I want to catch some brams some big brams I'm going to see if we find some in here What's the water depth in there, Cody? feet so in the middle of the canal is five foot so we should have you just had a hit Cody just had a bite and that's why we haven't had another bite and that's why we haven't had all morning was I mean we caught some catfish but uh so anyway we fish with these uh night crawlers we kind of cutting them up and that's just the perfect recipe to catch a big brim. You know, night crawlers, it don't get no better than that. You know, that's the lazy man's fishing. And the main reason why I'm using night crawlers is because I said I wanted to show you guys pretty much Louisiana fishery. So I want to try to catch as many fish as I can or as many species as I can to show you guys what we can catch on the Louisiana lake. So let's give it hell. We're going to fish on this side first and then we're going to cross the other side where they have some more cypress trees. Oh! I might do that, as soon as it catch, as soon as it, oh, it came off, as soon as it hit the water, pop my line, really? yeah, it was a catfish though, you can see the slime on the line, catfish just popped my line, so I already like this spot, let's go ahead and fix this, this, this line and keep on fishing. One. Big bluegill. No, not big, but that's what we're looking for though. So here, Cody just caught the first bram of the day. We call it a red eye sunfish. And that's what we're looking for. So I know they spawning right now. It's about finding them. But making a move was a good idea then. So we finally got some. Nice brim. Nice. You see how he already the blue gills, like the blue mm -hmm. freaking mouth. Yeah, that's what we're looking for, folks. That's what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and uh, can't go wrong with the night crawlers. Oh, 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 oh! No, 
another one. Perfect catfish bait right there too. Nowhere to bring my daughter next time. Not a nice brand. If you guys are trying to bring your kids fish and all, that's probably the funnest thing to do. So that's Lake of Red for y'all. Look at the size of that fish. Damn. Oh, we need to take a picture of that one. I haven't seen a bluegill that big in a long time. Yeah. Show the camera right there. Golly. Hold him around. Can you hold him uh, by the mouth somehow? Golly, that's a nice fish. Show him with the camera like that again. Look at the size of this fish, yeah. guys. <laughs> Let's go get some more. All the directions the wind could be blowing. You gotta be blowing like on our face. If we don't do no good right here, we're gonna cross and see what's happening by the, the oak. Oh man. Mm -hmm. You got it? You almost doubled up. <laughs> All right, folks, look, while you're at it, let me show you guys what I'm fishing with. That's uh, that's my go-to light tackle fish setup for fishing for pay, any type of pain fish, crappy, bluegill, uh, lake runners. I feel, I, I'm fi this is an ACC crappy stick. Uh, you guys probably seen those in pictures or whatever. That's what most of the guys that really take is, take uh, light tackle fish series. That's what we fish with, you know. Uh, that right here is a five is a is a six six it's a six and a half foot rod actually that's a six foot rod coldest fish with a five eight you know that's the one he's fishing with that's what i like to fish skipping dogs you can find this acc crap stick at fishusa.com i'm gonna leave the, a link in the description down below and you're gonna pay the same price if not cheaper than anywhere else any website even their own website so if you buy using the link that i'm gonna put down below you're also gonna help the channel i get a little bit of money on top of that so help a brother out pay cheap and help me out make some money so i can keep filming for you guys and i'm also fishing with a a thousand a size a thousand reel you can use any reel you want i like to use the shimano sienna and actually on official i say they have the new shimano sienna with the back drag system instead of the drag system being right here is on the back it's pretty awesome. I also leave the link in the, descri in the description down below. Fish with six to four pound test line, a little bobber, a little cork, a little split shot weight, Aberdeen hook, and live worm. As simple as that. And my guys, I don't make no money off a of crap stick, but if you see all my light tackle fishing videos, that's what I fish with. That's the most sensible, sensitive, sensible, sensitive. What's the word? It's more the most sensible rod I've ever used when it comes to light tackle fishing. So check that out. Link in the description down below. Let's go fishing. This bass a mess with me, bro. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it a catfish or a big bluegill? Oh, oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of this one, fellas. Oh, 
Look at the size of this bluegill. Ain't that awesome? Ain't a freaking awesome. Oh man. Ain't that pretty cool, dude? That's one of my favorite. It's like speckled trout fish when they bite, you know? Guys, just blue gills, you gotta keep a little tension so they stay above the bottom, but you cannot give it too much slack or nothing so they don't go, they don't go get your line wrapped around the stump down there and all, but golly, look at the size of this thing. Nice Louisiana brim. And to, we have a lot of fish at home and that's the reason why we're not keeping them. We really just wanna show you guys a good time, you know. We not try, we try not to be too greedy. All right, folks, that's it for today. We had fun. My goal today, I told Cole that yesterday, uh, my goal today was to come to Lake Red and show you, and start the series of fishing in Louisiana lakes. Not necessarily just bass fishing, but fishing, show you what's out there. And the Lake Red is not the same as it used to be a few years ago. Bass fish a little tough, we did a little bass fish today, didn't catch any bass. But uh, we caught some big bluegill, and that's what these places I was known for. Whenever it's spawning season for this bram, we catch some big bram in here and then we show today. We had a fun, we caught a lot of fish, pretty much every cat section, you know. And uh, I wanted to fish this lake itself just to see how it was, but as you can see, it's a little rough, the wind is bad. And uh, we still had a blast, so I hope you enjoyed. Write in the comment below what lake in Louisiana should go try. What have you fished that you did good and you want me to go ahead and try it out? I have a few lakes in mind, Lake Chico, Lake uh, Lake, Lake Palourde is right here, but I don't think it's worth it for us to go there since it's so close to Lake Red. But we have a Toledo Bend Reservoir. Uh, there's a lot of places that we got in mind, Lake Cattle Lake. So write in the comments down below where you want us to go, where you recommend us to go fish. And, uh, Please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you want to fish with any of the equipment we fish today, I'm going to have the link in the description down below to Fish USA. And uh, you're going to pay the same price you pay anywhere else, if not cheaper. And you're going to help me out. You're going to help the channel out and keep me rolling. So thank you for watching. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next video.